This is Tuna on Toast. I had a buddy named John Nardichone who worked uh, the metal at Atlantic Records. Okay. He goes, Mark. I know you love Howard Stern. I do too. The Meat Puppets were supposed to cover Psychedelic B uh, by Howard Stern. They won't do it. They can't do it. They can't get it together. This is a long shot. You're on a label. Stop Stop what you're doing. Go to a community college and see if you can borrow their facilities and record <laughs> Psychedelic B. Now, we're, we're, we got two shows left before we're going home and it's over. Uh, we stop at Denver Community City College. I'll never forget it. We stop there. We knock on the door. There's this guy that goes, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'd love to record a band. Another part of serendipity and luck. Right? Yeah. So he sets us up. We have two hours. We record Psychedelic B. And, we, and it was kind of like grungy, like, Whoa! it was just noise. It was like, oh, is this going to be, if this is it, man, then, I'm, then we aren't it. Uh, so we FedExed it, sent it to our manager in New York. No cell phones back then, don't right. forget, no nothing. So we do an 18-hour drive. In a van, really low energy, bummed out. Spirits are completely depleted. We get to our next gig in Wyoming, and we pull in about 9.30 in the morning in the parking lot. And the uh, manager of the place is there, which would never happen. Pe- people who travel in vans know what I'm talking about. They don't get there to 5 or 6 till they open up. They're crusty and angry. Right? This guy's going, ah! He's running <laughs> to the van. We're like, this guy's the nicest guy in the world. He's got some pretty good news. Or he thinks we're somebody else. We're going to find out. He goes, listen, listen. Call your manager right now. Howard Stern's been playing your song all day long oh in the radio. My God. He wants you in the studio Howard. on Monday. Call your manager. And he's like, come on, call, call. And he took us in the office. We called. And our manager, we can hear him in the background. He had Howard Stern on. He was playing the thing. We're like, oh my God. It was, it was like a, a it was like a the wonders moment. You know what right. I mean? It was like it was like, right. we're like, oh my God. And our manager goes, just leave the van there. Just leave everything. Get on a plane. You've got to be here by Monday to start playing. We got to capitalize on the momentum. So he's playing this on the air, and your management says, come to New York or come back to LA and let's so start working. Leave the van where it is. <laughs> leave your crap where it is and get to New York immediately. We need to cash in on this vibe. Atlantic, whoa, waking the sleeping giant has decided to buy the tickets to bring you guys in and put you guys up in New York, which we they had never put out a dollar on their own just to be cool, but they knew the value of being on Howard Stern, what that would do. Went to Howard Stern. We brought a couple girls with us because we knew him in New York, you know, and we're we might be dumb, we're not stupid, you know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah. And Howard loved them. And we ended up being on the show for about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. Oh we played the song twice. God. It was like the song was like a minute and 10 seconds. We got on E. E Channel was filming back then. And then because of that, the label said, let's capitalize on this momentum. Yes, you guys can make a second record. Floored. So Howard Stern always says he's responsible for careers. He's absolutely responsible for the career of Sugar Ray. Hope you enjoyed. Now hit that subscribe button. And for more Tuna on Toast, listen wherever you get your podcasts.